Welcome to Drinking Bros, presented by BlackRifleCoffee.com. Oh, hi. 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 Oh. Ross, oh. I was really disappointed to a hear you don't Phil have a mustache Rarick this right morning. Now. Phil Rarick. Fuck Just Phil. like saying that name. Phil Rarick. Who is, who is Phil Rarick? I heard Phil and you go like toe for toe in the sports group or something. Are you guys arguing? I've seen that. Yeah. Phil, I don't... I, I don't Phil, know. I, look, I, I, bi- I bitch at a lot of people. Yeah. I, I bitch at a lot of people for unrealistic Rarick? expectations. What do you mean? What kind of last? That's a solid last name. I've never met That's a, a Rarick. It's the last name of, uh, uh, of a shrink is what it is. Yeah, exa- yeah. exactly. Mr. Is his, is his, Dr. Rarick. Is his middle name Dr. medium? Is, his, is it Phil Medium his, Rarick? His, his is that father his name? Was, a, was a shrink. I don't remember. He was some sort of doctor for Ross. your mind. Ross, I just laughed. Phil medium Rarick. Rarick. Medium Rarick. You're, well, you're welcome. I like my, welcome. I like my meats medium Rarick. Hey, can yeah. you bring I like Ross my up Phil. Uh, Phil medium lives Rarick. in Steamy Valley, actually. I think he's going to come visit us while we're in California. Oh, so. well, if he's Steamy been, Steamy? Yeah, yeah well, if he's steamy, been talking steamy. shit, Ross, we can beat the fuck out of him. I mean... Yeah, I'm down. I Let's do it. I'm also down might, for a rape sesh. I think he might take... I think Phil might take Ross. No, I, I said we. Oh, oh. I so, doubt it. So I it's, doubt it. It's going to be all of us. I don't know. Ross is pretty jacked, so. Yeah, but yeah. Phil's got a low center yeah. of gravity. Yeah, but he, you don't Phil have, does a, have a low center of gravity. You don't have a mustache right now, yeah, Ross. Yeah, he has a mustache. Phil has a mustache. Phil's got a mustache. And Here, you don't. I'm going to show you, you a ever picture of Phil. Hi, Hi, Drinking Bros Podcast. Sorry. Oh, there Sorry. It is. <laughs> Sorry. You are Anybody with a mustache wins in life. What's that? Is Matthew here? That's Ooh. how that's how long we've been going. One minute and thirty seconds late. I apologize. I was just getting out of a meeting. Yeah, look at that. You think he could take Ross? You no worries. Like oh time. no, that guy's what? doughy. He you looks look like, like he's been baby. here the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> Phil Rarick, you look like your baby. <laughs> <laughs> like your baby oh, is supposed look, to a, look. He's a cougar. Oh, that's gay. So oh, your God, your baby is supposed to look like you. You're not supposed to look like your baby. <laughs> speaking of giant babies. <laughs> oh, speaking of Baker Levin. Yeah, is Baker there? Yeah, Baker. Son. Baker's man, been trying baby. to negotiate with me lately, so we stop calling him Big Bald Baby and call him, ha- what is it? Half Man, Half Baby. I did see some feedback on the podcast listeners, and they're like, do we really have to look at Baker? So maybe we just blur oh, this side of really the camera. <laughs> yeah. How, how, well, I can't how see them, so it doesn't bother me. is it to just blur Baker? No, is that we can Photoshop a better looking dude could, over here. Yeah, could we just put like uh, Nancy Pelosi or something? <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> I have a question. I'm serious. I mean this. I'm in your corner. If we if, no. we, if we replaced you with Pelosi, people would be like, bring Hold Baker on. back. Okay. That's well, true. Or that's AOC. Mildly maybe. funny, but Nancy <laughs> Pelosi, I guarantee you in her prime was hot as fuck. I'll say it. What is with you thinking these oh my god? Here's, a, here's whoa, my prediction, whoa, though, whoa. and I know this isn't the new show, but I just want to throw it out there. I think we're stuck with AOC for the long haul. I think she becomes the next Pelosi. She's going to be in politics for the next thirty years. Yeah, yeah. Like at least at thirty, I, at least thirty. Way longer than. Yeah. That. yeah. Wait, yeah. wait. I, I'd say what. Let me ask you this, Jared. If if Bernie wins, because right now he's ahead in the polls, does he pick AOC as, as a VP? No, no. She's too young. You have nope. to be thirty-five. I what think. do you mean Bernie's ahead in the polls? How is that even a thing? Right, right now they've got pre polls going on. By the way, breaking news, Matt. Since you got here, Jared, you almost might want to sing "Amazing really? Grace." Hillary Clinton just announced she will not run in 2020. I mean, her that's reign a smart of terror room. is over. That's a smart move on her part. She I don't think she can do it. I, I thought yeah. health reasons, th- really, yeah. probably. I'd imagine. Yeah. One would think. I thought I, she's that type of person, though. That I thought she would have done it just out of spite of of like fuck you guys. Yeah, but that would go, that would have ruined it. Would have ruined it for the Democratic side because she does have a devout uh, amount of supporters. And when you start Correct. stripping Bernie and every other and Elizabeth Warren and Biden and everybody of, you know, when you're taking your people back over for you, you're just making it so you won't win. Because really, who on the is, is anybody announced on the Republican side? The only person on that. Well, no, has they have a, an incumbent. So that's really yeah, rare for somebody yeah. to challenge the incumbent. And then five times in the history of this country, incumbents lost. So, I mean, Trump's going to win again. Yeah. But yeah. Um, um, but but. but you know, I know it's not. I know it's not the news show, but uh, I, I do think it's politics. interesting. That, well, you'll, you'll get a kick Blech. out of this. You'll get a Here's kick the thing. out of this. I got a good one for you after this. Whatever okay. this. AOC horse said garbage. today that we should not have attacked Al Qaeda after 9/11. Yeah. Direct yeah. quote. Well, for, no. first she said Iraq, and then she said, "Oh, I'm sorry, I'm in Afghanistan." So I don't know if she actually met Iraq, because who in the fuck knows with this woman, right? She's yeah, crazy. I mean, honestly, I would love. I wish once a week AOC would sit down and just give her opinion on. Things she does in all of history. 
Like she does. I would love to see AOC's it's, take on the Vietnam War. It's I'd like drunk see. history, but she's sober. <laughs> it's, like, it's, it's, it's dumb history. Yeah, Why yeah. don't we just we could just make that with it's our history. new cartoon? Yeah, app, you're absolutely want. right. We can do that. But me I still and think Baker, she's hot. Me and Baker oh. just got back from Lackland Air Force Base or Joint Base San Antonio. We met with the commander of the 37th Training Wing, which owns. Air Force basic training, and he did tell me that we can put Baker through Warrior Week and put him through the gas chamber. Shut the fuck up. Oh, dead serious. Boy. Yes. Within you know, I, exactly. I think Baker and Ross should go through Warrior Week. It's four days. Baker, you'll learn, learn so much skills. respect in my book. Do I get to go to the gas chamber? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Did, you well, got what is the gas chamber? On, Explain wait. that for the audience who doesn't know. You walk awesome. into a big ass concrete room, basically, with and it's full with chem, of CS gas. Yeah, with and chem. You with usually, chem gear. depending on what the instructors do, you pull up your mask. Then you have to put it back on. You clear it to get the gas out of there. Then you have to pull it off completely. And then usually they make you open your eyes and say, say your something. social security yeah. number or something. Infantry, in my opinion, is usually a little harder. They kept us in there for a really long time yeah. until people were vomiting. I but mean, it's, it's just you cough, you know. It's not how, that How bad. long, yeah. Matt? How long? Man, I had my mask off for probably 30 seconds. Um, I've oh. seen some other ones that are like, you know, five, ten seconds. It's R so Ross, easy. Like, you just, I, like, fucking kind of vomit. And get I had, like, 30 mucus, CS or... grenades allotted to me as, yeah. as an E3. Like, we would play games with these things in the woods. Like, we would CS each other all the, the time. The thing with that, for it's me, funny. it wasn't a mental hurdle because I knew that I wouldn't die. And all yeah. you have to endure, you're like, it's about ten minutes of suck. Coughing that's your eyes. And that's it. It's I, I actually easy. think uh, that... MRE bombs are worse. Yeah. Because it's, I think, ca it's actual capsicum. It's do you know like, how to make an MRE it's, bomb? It's Tabasco yeah. sauce. So no, but I will tell you this. If I get to, to have photos taken and I get to, wear, do. I get to wear army clothes, yes. is valor implied? Yes. <laughs> yes, yes, valor is implied. Here's, the th here's, in. here's, here's my in. proposition, and here's, here's what I'll propose to the colonel. Yeah. I say that we come up with like an eight-hour... Uh, lesson plan that you spend one day in Air Force basic training. Okay. And you do all the cool events, yeah, like the obstacle course. You do the gas chamber. Can I be, let's be the host. Yeah, it's like hi, yeah. I'm Matt and oh, Jared. We're and today we're putting our friend Baker through basic training. This is ship. why I think Ross should join. Training him. ship. Ross, would you would you be willing to do that? How, how long is it? Eight hours. Eight hours. Oh, so many yeah, but questions. it's it's yeah, it's also Air Force basic training. We're yeah, not. I'm in. Fuck it, man. Fuck it. I mean, <laughs> I mean it's our two it's civilian a, it's friends. It's Air Force basic yeah. training. Like, you're, our, not like you're not like, you're not running the crucible. It's to, our to, two civilian friends. We're giving a military experience for a day, and they get to wear a uniform, and they get to do the thing. And Okay, hold on. Will we be graded, and will there be a winner? No. No, no, there has to be an honor grad, motherfucker. I mean, I mean we'll me get, and Ross, you one, guys, will two men enter, one man leaves better. You, there, there isn't always an honor grad. <laughs> Ross, do you want do you want it to be a competition or an experience? I think it should be an experience. I think and it's teamwork an experience. makes the dream work. The obstacle course, I'm you're in. probably gonna have to do the buddy system. Yeah. What and is that called in the Air Force? It, an Air Force buddy, like a I, Ranger buddy? I don't, I don't know. know. I don't know what they call. It. I think they just call it. The, oh, wingman. That's what it is. Yeah. It's a, oh, it's come it's over here, wingman. Wing man. Let's yeah. jump over the hey, sweet six foot wall. Be my Here's wing the deal. Man. Here's the deal. Here's the deal. If you fucking, if you fucking assholes did it when you were eighteen, seventeen. Uh, yeah, I was seventeen. <laughs> Baker. So thank you for extended <laughs> no big service. Deal. No big deal. Uh, <laughs> so thank you for premature year. during an extended service, Matt. Uh, yeah, if you fuckers can do it, I know I can do it. Even at of course you can. I know you can do it. I'm not. I'm not setting you up to that. You're not going to be able to complete it. I think this is going to make an outstanding video for us yeah. to watch. You two go through some of this. Stuff also, for that a day. point you were just trying to make, Dave did it. So wait a second. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a good idea here. I was thinking Dave of others. It? I was thinking of other people in the office. What if we make a badge for BlackRifleCoffee.com, which is the best subscription-based model for coffee direct to consumer that you can buy. Just saying. <laughs> also, it's a little badge that says "Implied Service," implied and if you go through service. it, you took a, a very honorable step forward in participating and assimilating to the culture of the military, and that's kind of your badge of honor. And so claiming some valor. Yes, yeah, so you're just like, hey, dude, look, I went through my shit. Eight hours says that I ate some CS cast yeah. and jumped over a couple walls. Like a combat infantry and badge you'll have with a photos. paper clip. Listen, Baker, sure. no here's what I'll do. Clip. We'll have a <laughs> full-time, like, full dedicated photographer for both of you so we can age the photos as well. Yeah. So it looks like, oh, this was when I was at basic <laughs> training. Like, this is when I went through the gas chamber. You're going to have Instagram content. Because and technically, that's months. not lying. You're just saying, like, this is when I was at Air Force basic training. It's yeah, implied valor. Somewhat yeah, it's accurate. implied yeah. valor. Do I, I get a, hey, do I get a certificate? 
Yes. For completion. Yes. yes. That's what I'm saying. You get, you get a black rifle you get honorary, an honorary <laughs> certificate. You get an honorary Air Force basic training graduate. You'll get your warrior's coin. Oh, so you get a fuck coin. A coin. And so what you get also, if you really do a good job, it's called a triangle device. It's a V device flipped upside down. Yeah, so it's not gonna, a Valor device. Yeah. It's a triangle device. It's a triangle device. It's, we'll give you, you an Air Force basic training ribbon. How about this? <laughs> they they wait, actually have that. Wait. Are there any I know, but he didn't go through basic training. No. Hold on. Yeah, you guys have one too. It's the rainbow one. Are there a training ribbon? National Defense Service medal? No. It's Are the, there any stickers for my truck? Yeah. You Air can put Force your whole veteran one file ish. on the back. Air Force veteran ish. ish. No, no but it's <laughs> Air Force basic training <laughs> veteran, and then it has eight hour version yeah. in parentheses. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> we'll make him a custom sticker. Yeah. Eight what hour yeah. course. What do, what do you. What, eight hour tours? What do the police give out? They're like those little badges to like oh, yeah. kids, and they're like, yeah. great job, kiddo. We'll like a junior ranger bag. We'll things. give them sticker stripes. Yeah. Like a but junior I'll ranger bag. Baker, yeah. Yeah. I'll go as far as this, and I'll make sure that it's all arranged that you and Ross get. Actual uniforms with your name tapes on them. That's cool. Huh. You are talking to <laughs> that, me like the, I am the way Matt five. said that. That's <laughs> cool. <laughs> then you could wear it at well, Halloween and shit. Listen, Ra, that's a thing when you're, you're in basic an training. And an idiot. For the first couple of weeks, you don't have name tapes, so everybody knows that you're still new. And then when you finally ah, get your name tapes, yeah. it's like, yeah, I've been here for a little while. Bitches. Do we get tased? No, there's no tasing. Why? We can tase you I right mean, we now. We can tase you, want. you while you're in the gas you're, chamber. You're infantry, right? Yeah, that would be shit. Do you remember when you go, went through basic training and then you saw the guys with the high and tights and you knew they were graduating? You're like, oh my God, they're so cool. I was just going to say there's a whole like caste system in basic training. Yeah, yeah like you're, hierarchy. Like yeah. you're in Look, fucking... first it's boots because you don't get boots, right? Yeah, you you're get, in tennis you get, shoes, yeah. You get the uniform and tennis New shoes. New balance. Then you get the boots. So now, now it's. Very visual and basic. Who's been there longer? Well, yeah. that's perfect. Then, it, if Ross goes through, he can the combat boots that he when he first had we met us the jump boots. Yeah, he yeah. can hang with a little pride <laughs> on there. Yeah, like yeah. he earned those. We can Hold get on, him a, a little medal for yeah. the boot the, for the boots. <laughs> Legit question. I can get him bronze. Yeah, yeah. Legit it, it, question. Oh. Since I did two years of Air Force boarding school, I want to be further along in the process than Ross. I've earned that right. No, you, we'll <laughs> we'll put one stripe on your uniform, and Ross will have none. I want a half stripe because I haven't earned a full stripe yet. Okay, we'll cut a sure, stripe. Sure, sure. Right. We should just shit. make up our whole fake rank system that isn't actually a military. You know. Yeah. We, anyway, but you guys will get yelled at by drone instructors. Okay. So now, <laughs> back to reality. Back to reality. No, this no, is wait, really going to happen. Ba ba Baker, yeah, Baker. I got one more question for you. Why did you go to Air Force? What, what did you say? Tr Florida training boarding school, school or Florida, Florida Air boarding school? school. Florida Air and, and and not and not go into the military afterwards. So Florida Air Academy. Um, in the, or in the 90s was one of the uh, premier high school soccer programs in the country, and that's why I went. Oh, gotcha. You, you were a big, big soccer guy. You that might think I'm about to talk shit, but I'm going to openly on, like, admit something that only Ross knows to everybody. Oh, fuck. I, Matthew Best, was in Civil Air Patrol. <laughs> I knew that. You told me that. I knew that. Yeah. Who cares? That's where you go to learn to fly. I, I was in sea cadets. Yeah, I didn't think I wanted to fly. Everybody's like, man, I can't wait to get in those F-16. I was like, well, when do they give me the machine gun? And they're like, you don't get a machine gun in here, and then I quit. Yeah. I think that that's actually cool. I mean, I think that's impressive. I mean, that's like an Evan getting his Eagle Scout badge. I got to go right. to sea cadets. I was in sea cadets, and I just liked it because it, it was Navy and Marine, but I was, I was a fan of the Marine stuff because we got to wear the camouflage. Yeah. And uh, Ross, since I'm just fucking, you know, dropping um, shameless plugs over here. I talked to my yeah. publisher today, and they said they have very, very light edits, and we are ready to go into pretty much production and lock this, the, the manuscript. I just want to see the cover. What, did they, say, did they, they, they give you a date? They say July? Uh, that's the tentative one that's still on track. So we don't have the official date yet, but they were like, once we get these notes in, they're like, they're super light. Um, we shouldn't have any problems with them, so fucking fine thank god Ugh. thank god uh the world is is ready for this book to come out into the world uh hey since we're since we're talking about you let's let's keep dropping it about you i saw oh. a, a washington post article oh, yeah. yesterday oh, that yummy. i sent you yeah. can you tell the yummy. audience what that was and why that happens because i dude i got he, bombarded with it yesterday before he does that ross how poorly written was that article in your opinion it was as all, a I was all as a writer that was one of the worst written so articles i've ever read and was it a staff guy or was that like a, a freelancer it was a i mean it was so this is the way it went down it was a freelancer that approached me through writing a um a whatever for rolling stone and i said okay this is an interesting opportunity to tell my side of the story when it comes to firearms why i own them you know my military service a little bit and maybe 
open up some conversation for some hyper left people to be more aware and understanding of guys like me. And then Rolling Stone dropped it. And then uh, the Washington Post, of course, picked it up. Um, and from there, apparently he just wanted to talk about, you know, the tactical industry and this and that, which is very interesting to me because he highlighted, you know, some individuals that I, I didn't even know of and made, drew some really weird parallels. I don't, I don't know. I don't care. You know, any press is good press. And he was actually pretty nice to me. And there was a little bit of like, Matt is the, what do, what do you say? If De something about leader. Yeah, and something about like leader. if if you did a photo shoot in Fallujah, that's what Matt's Instagram looks like, and I'm like, yeah, what? That dude that, that, has no. If you did a Calvin Klein photo shoot, he couldn't, he couldn't yeah. even. Like yeah. You could be yeah. like point to Fallujah, and you have a globe, and he'd be like, uh... yeah, no, was, it was it was uh, rambling and nonsense. Well, there, there was no was point. No point. And, he, there was and he no also, included... I just love the comments on there where they're like these fucking idiots, and I and I, and I'll speak very freely, but it's like. How about these kids are these dudes that want it with their small dicks uh, own firearms? Look at some uh, shot up dead kids and rethink them uh, if, if they want to own firearms. And I'm like, have you ever been to war, bitch? Because I've seen some really shitty stuff mm -hmm. and it didn't change my perspective yeah, on owning a fucking at, tool are they looking and a at firearm dead, to protect my of dead family. Kids? What a weirdo. But no, they're like they're the, uh, fucking perverts. Do you remember that yeah. scene in Tommy Boy? I don't know what the fuck that means. Do you remember that scene in Tommy Boy where he's trying to say he banged the fucking teacher or whatever? And Which one? Yeah, on the bus. Yeah. Mm -hmm. On the bus, yeah. yeah. He's like, he goes, no, no, you didn't. He goes, well, you can imagine what it would be like if I did that. It to me is half <laughs> of the fucking left's argument on this stuff. Well, you can imagine like, what it'd be like. They just if make I did. shit up, like all the fucking racial stuff that's been, uh, that's the been going hoaxes. on lately. The hoaxes. Like we went through this yeah. two yeah. weeks ago. There's like a list of like 60 different hoaxes since Trump took office. That's what it is. There's more hoaxes it's like, than and then, and then when you come back on them, like, hey, that never happened. Like, yeah, but you can imagine if it did. Like, what? I can imagine anything, but it's not it's, happening. It's just Fuck hilarious this. how, yeah. how like that's what Ellen Page said when people called her out after she did yeah. her whole thing on ta on uh, Colbert's show. She was like, uh, "Just because this was fake doesn't mean there aren't real ones." Like, yeah, that's our point. Like, stop these fucking fake dummies so we can take care of the real issues. Yeah. You stupid bitch. Ellen Page is it's, like, it's interesting when people on that side of the house and, and mainly the comments, not even the article, when people preach to be open minded and they're the absolute opposite. Like they never visited my freaking Instagram or these other people and said, man, maybe this is just their hobby. Maybe that they're taking, you know, firearm classes to better themselves as responsible firearm owner. Nope, it's just fucking. They want to kill babies. I'm like, yeah, yeah that's stupid. that's what. If I read any article and they invoke Fuck that you. thirty plus thousand Stop, yeah. uh, gun deaths a year and don't say that sixty seven percent of them are, are fucking, fucking suicide, suicides, yeah. then I don't read any more of it. And but, then what sorry. are attributed to actually long guns comparatively to it's five percent? Yeah, but yeah. you know what? My, you yeah. know why? Is because no one holds anyone accountable for reporting things like that. Or more importantly, no one says, hey. That article yeah. is fucking dumb because you're using a statistic without fucking providing all the information. And it all boils down to this. People have no fear of getting slapped in the motherfucking face yeah. for talking shit about people anymore. The weird, That's also, what it is. Another weird part of that, too, is I was getting burned down by the post to give them photos. And then when they cited photos courtesy of Matt Best, I'm like, you just screenshotted those off my Instagram. I never provided you with photos. And moreover, they were like burning my phone down. And I'm like, I know this is a mild hit article on me and to include the community that I I live in why am i going to provide Who you with this photos? writer though he was, i i'm not going to talk shit he was at my house um and that was the weird part for me yeah you know, I, like, I actually i actually talked to him too matt remember that i talked yeah. to him for what 20 minutes or so um yeah you know and he was he was asking me questions about you and he and seemed I like a him, nice enough guy i fed him filet and broccoli i think he said he was yeah. a vegetarian at one point but they ate the filet so i was like cool and, and, and good, i told right? you to call me i told you to call me after he left and yeah. you called me that night and i said hey man just be careful none of these articles ever end up good like oh, especially no. from rolling stone and that so when i read that it was not shocking at all um it could have been way worse i'm not i wasn't it could, i read that it thing and i was been. like if it was like really well written and then misreferenced some quotes and there's a couple in there that he you know, cut off the front and back on and Super use the middle. Weird. The comma, yeah. yeah, whatever. It yeah. is what it is. You know what the thing that made me the most uh, irritated about that whole thing is how he referred to Noel as your hot wife. That's like, <laughs> it was, it was, I'm, it was, it was, no, it was, it was super, super sexist, sexist and yeah. hyper fucking offensive if yeah. I got offended, where you're just like, oh yeah, and is, you know, the cliche of having a super hot wife. And you're like, 
At no point did you want to communicate Sorry. to your audience that my wife let you come into our household, helped cook dinner for you, and was yeah. like, in a, again, whatever. I don't give a fuck, but then, I you know. I think we should do an article on this guy. I think we should do an article on, him, on yeah. this guy. <laughs> no, Washington I'm not wasting Post my time. Washington Post author, super sexist. Let's do our and own let articles just, It wasn't, I don't think, he probably is sexist. He seems like an idiot, to be honest. Just the way he wrote about the other women and, yeah. the, and the thing, but just like the comments he made like about Casey Cook, Buff Cookie, and some other people that, yeah. when he was going down the list. I thought he came off with a sexist vibe, but I think he was trying to project that onto you. Like, you're some fucking meathead that just has a trophy wife, and that's it. That's, like, he that, that was implied, He doesn't I know think, you yeah. at all. Yeah. And I think, totally dude, after that, like, there. I went home, and I was thinking, I was thinking, I should write an article on him for Coffee or Die. <laughs> yeah. I <laughs> should. On the writer himself? <laughs> no, on Matt. Because no <laughs> oh, one oh, else, on everybody's going to fuck it up. <laughs> I won't fuck it up. Well, I mean, I, you'll fuck up the grammar. That's why it'll go to an editor. <laughs> or you just go by Freedom On. My exactly. Matt no, Best the thing Freedom about the Fuck the, On. Are they, the thing, are they saying just Freedom On? Uh, that's actually probably more my decision uh, to cut the F word out. And uh, I can fill you on later. But I think it's overused these days. We're at the airport and I saw seven books lined up. And they were all like how to fucking start your life, how to get the fuck up. And I was like, oh, it's overused now. Two years ago, it made sense to yeah, me. Now yeah, I'm like, yeah, uh, you, yeah, you, you know why? Because that guy had a hit uh, number one book. Um, uh, we had two of them. How right? to fuck yeah. off. Uh, how to unfuck your life. Or and then, uh, how, yeah, how to unfuck your then life is, is going to There's another. Is gonna be the next yeah. one. The, the, the subtle the art subtle of yeah, 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 not giving a fuck. Which I haven't read. Is it good? Yeah, the whole like zero fucks to give thing. I didn't already have lived that life. Like, it's for... Mindless idiots. Yeah. Well, and, and I think just that just push. from like a paid media sense and other things and, and podcasts, it just doesn't make sense to have have to censor it to me. But yeah, yeah, there are I mean, plenty honest, of fucks in that book. Look, let me tell like, you. I, yes, it is. <laughs> yeah. It is way more advantageous for you to not put it in the title because then you can run paid advertisements yeah. on it. There's a ton of different reasons why you yeah. should. Because I mean, is Good Morning America or fucking anybody well, like, like that going to want to have and you on or yeah. some other you know? Uh, Freedom well, that's censored on. Yeah, we're yeah. here yeah. with author. Like, <laughs> I, I agree. <laughs> it's, it's one of those things, though. Had you done it three three years ago, when it it was, worked, yeah. you know, when we first submitted it to the DOD, then you would have been groundbreaking. Now everybody's trying to throw it in just to do it, where it's just like, all right, moving on. Yeah, yeah I, I understand that hey, move. Is there a, um, is there a rule about swearing on the floor of Congress or anything? Like, yeah, asking the wrong guy. absolutely. Are you sure? Are you You'll sure? Is that like real? a motherfucker? Have you ever heard someone cuss on the floor of Congress? No, you get censored. Know. You get censored. C censured. That's what I said. Not censored. Censured. Yeah. So what why is are you that? saying censured? <laughs> no, Does censure is like a reprimand. Yeah, it's an yeah. official reprimand. But oh, you get censured. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I thought you. Okay. No, Sorry. no. So, no, so how does that work then? Gavel. Like that censure. What does it do to your record? Uh, is it just like a pee pee? Slap it does like the it? same thing that job approval ratings do to Congress. So nothing. not shit. So, <laughs> dude, we need yeah. to we need to all run for office and get elected. I think you're and, right. And just start like fucking arguing with each other, like British House of Commons style. Fuck you, buddy. <laughs> like, I, no, I love so it. I, like, I, I asked somebody in the higher ups. I said, Hey, what office can you run for and still keep your day job, like your your normal shit that you do? If you run for a House of Representative job, you only have to show up pretty much like once a month for meetings and shit, they said. Yeah. But other than that, you can keep doing other things in your life. Like, yeah. So you can run for your district and still make you know important decisions and talk shit and do all that other stuff. And I then still work at Black Rifle Coffee. I think we should run. Well, let's run as uh, like partners, like a two man just, team. Yeah, like I'm like gonna run, brothers. I'm yeah. going to run against <laughs> both of you. Sure. <laughs> no, that's stupid. Yeah. No. I mean, if AOC can say the shit she does, yeah. then, I, then my political background is perfect like for how, running. How much AOC trouble could open you the get gates. in? How much trouble could you get in for just dropping f bombs in the media all that the time? That would be fucking hilarious. Like, there's no yeah. NBA. The, yeah. the government can't find. Like, well, the Congress won't find you. Like, if you're an NBA player and you come out and say fuck this and fuck that, the NBA is going to find you. I mean, it, Trump just but, said bullshit on national television the other day. Yeah. Did he not? Yeah, it's CPAC. He, yeah. he dropped the p bomb in that Let's bus. Let's make years America back. degenerates again. Yes, because I'm. And tired we are the right of motherfuckers yeah. for yeah. it. I'm so sick. <laughs> anybody was hurling bullshit. tea into the harbor, it would be us. Yeah, dude, you think yeah. they were hurling? And tea in the harbor saying, oh, tea, tea sucks, guys. It's No, they yeah. were like, fuck, fuck this, this They even got a bunch of Indians to help them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, <laughs> what? That's true. They did. Yeah. It was like, hey, you guys want to fuck?
fuck with these other people? Yeah, that's well, and, the, and then the ship captain came off and they tarred and feathered them. That sounds <laughs> like we grew we grew up as tar and feathering someone in cartoons, right? Like, oh, it's that's. Funny. I wish we would bring no, that back. It's hot ass tar. It kills you. It, you die. Yeah. Does it kill you? Do you as a do dead you as die fuck. if you get tar and feathered. Dead as a motherfucker. Are you sure who no. has died from being tar and feathered? Yeah. I thought it you was to send a message. Fake how, news. How do you? I thought it was to send a message. Dave, how, look that how, up. What's the point JT, of tar? How do you survive? It's got to be like. 200 degrees at least no, right? You don't go full hot tar how, Let me ask you this you go How would you remove corn. it from someone? I have no idea I've never had tar Well you get on tar me. on your feet in the beach And it comes off in a week or two. Oh, here we go That's Five true. myths of tar yeah, it, and feathering it takes, it, takes, it takes a long time, yeah hmm. I don't know Busted, busted. Where, what's, the, what's busted? Fa- tarring and feathering could be fatal Busted <laughs> yeah, in, what in, is in a liquid site? state it's 300 degrees That's got to cause second and third degree burns All over your body yeah, we need, we need, yeah, I mean, we need Crispy on here as a subject matter expert. <laughs> that's that's for yeah. asphalt use. Like tar can be cooler than that and yeah, still gooey. Oh, can. 140. Can. Yes, Pine yeah. tar. See, <laughs> it doesn't have to be hot. It's used on shipyards. It hmm. just has to be warmish. Yeah. See. Fair enough. The right. most vicious ah. tar and feather attack in Revolutionary America was carried out on a comptroller for the custom services named John Malcolm in Boston on 25 January 1774. Malcolm was not only stripped and covered with tar and feathers, but a costume commissioner wrote... Customs. Customs commissioner wrote... He was also punched with a long pole, beaten with clubs, oh. led Wait, to Liberty punched Tree. punched with a long pole? What does <laughs> that mean? They're whipped whoa, with cords. Whoa. whoa. Led to a Liberty Tree, whipped with cords <laughs> on a very cold night. And L- led onto the gallows, then whipped again. <laughs> Holy shit. That's a Listen, bad night, dude. We need to take a couple people to the Liberty Tree. Yeah. <laughs> so there's there's two types of tarring feathering. There's actually like the tar that's really super sticky. I just read some, and then there's oh the stuff God. that's super fucking crazy hot. The crazy hot shit can kill you. The stuff that's not like burning and scalding just gets you sticky, that's not gonna kill you. Yeah, pine tar. Just said that. Yeah, well, there's other articles. Yeah. You read the first one, that was an ad. That wasn't an ad. God, I could talk about so many different things in tar and feathering right now. What are you now. talking about? I oh, think yeah, we should you bring could. it back. Are you I Evan right now? I think we should bring it back. Huh? Are you Evan right now so, questioning why we're having this? Someone's got to do it. Why can't <laughs> we Someone's bring it back? <laughs> why can't someone snatch AOC's ass up and fucking cover her in tar and feathers and be like, you need to shut your mouth? I believe that's called assault. Yeah. And yeah. yeah. Ah, come yeah, on in, Secret Service. Salt. Good to see you. He's right there, sir. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. No, but hold uh, on. You j- asked about like getting censured and stuff. Like the stuff that she says is just idiocy. But the stuff that uh, Omar from Michigan, the fifth district of Michigan, says, mm-hmm. like openly criticizing and talking shit about Israel and all this stuff and like Jewish people. Like she's truly an out of is the box. Is she going to get her anti out? Well, they're trying to. Rem- There's a bunch of people that want to remove her from the Foreign Relations uh, Committee. Um, How is she on a committee? She's been in office for, for fucking a month. twelve minutes. Yeah, I, yeah, I know. Like oh, it's really rare that. to get committee assignments. Well, right, the, the Democrats like a, are fucking junior. stupid. They put them on these committees to, which they thought was smart and witty, and they'd be a pain in everyone's ass. But now all of a sudden, it's just making their party look like a bunch of just just crazy people. Yeah. Well. I don't care. Is there any update on Uber the now? COD crisis? No. Yes. Yes, actually. I'm no. glad you asked. <laughs> yeah. All right. So <laughs> yesterday I talked to Gerald Bennington. Uh, Who? He's at, listen, name. it is not. Look, Look his him name up. up. Gerald Bennington. That's not a name that it you just said. It is, too. Gerald? He's part of Nova. Anyway, He's Noah. friends with Benedict Cumberpatch, too. Noah. He's Spell part of name. Noah. <laughs> he's part of Noah. It's, it's N-O-A-H. Organization. National uh, Oceanographic Institute. Yes. So <laughs> he's done uh, research for this. They bit. actually we are at a record low this year, record low, and Canada's facing a similar a similar cod crisis as well. And 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 what's really weird is they've recently started, and it's only been like three years, we've started claiming that there's Pacific cod, and that's never been a thing, forever. <laughs> Do you like, feel like you're being lied to by a five year old right now? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> I'm telling it. you right now, like all of a sudden, Pacific cod comes out of nowhere. You don't think that's weird? You sound like. <laughs> oh, boy, Jared. I, I can't. The cod movement is something I, I can't and won't get behind. Well, if, he, if it's uh, important not, to I'm him, just saying, lifetime. I spent four hours on a conference call last night about this, and we need to do something. Let Why me, don't you let, run for Senate? Yeah, <laughs> With, on the grounds of the cod crisis. Yeah. You I don't should. care about anything I else. Should. World hunger. If you, you know. if you spent four hours in a conference call about this last night, you are a fucking idiot. 
Why? <laughs> I'm getting my facts no, before that is I the, present that them. That is the biggest Listen, waste Noah of time. Noah has sent numerous emails to me asking that I'm putting out good information so they're so this so, is not true for sure. <laughs> no government agency is reaching out to this fucking piece of shit and asking for help. No, that's no, never. They're happened. just asking that I put out facts. That's it. They just want to make sure I have my facts. Control straight. the message. Control the narrative. Yeah, they they just they're coaching me on the show me one crisis. of these emails. I'll bring them, I'll bring them all. Print them all out. You have your phone yeah, please, right now. Please I don't do. have my email please address. Do. My con email address <laughs> attached to the phone. This motherfucker's gonna be Hillary Clinton with I'm those not, emails. I'm not, I'm never I'm not them trying out. to let. Oh, I'm not geez. trying to get attacked oh, over geez. the fucking cod situation. Yeah. Using bleach. They're bit tracking shit. this, Daniel. They're the tracking. Why did you just use my government name? Gmail dot com. Did you hear him just use my government name right yeah, there? Yeah, my full name. He was mad at you. It's actually the cod savior at gmail.com. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> because I hope that I have a positive impact on the cod numbers for 2020 because I'm hoping my goal is that people increase to their cod consumption this year and that they grew back next year. I'm That's not how it works, one. <laughs> and two, cod don't vote. So your constituency is all cod. <laughs> all right. They on. vote with hold on. air bubbles. I am yeah, going this. to text Larry Wasserman, who is the head fisheries biology for the Swinomish Indian tribe in in, in Washington State. I'm yeah. texting him right now. Okay. And Larry's from New Jersey, but he's been with the Swinomish tribe for 20 years. I'm going to say, Larry, is there a cod crisis? Okay. Do you think we'll get something back right away? Then I will follow it up with this is Baker. Okay, so who the fuck I am? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I have consulted with a medical doctor about this, and he said, in fact, there is a cod crisis. A, a medical, medical doctor. doctor. What so the not a fuck? biologist, just a straight medical doctor. I consulted with an art historian. <laughs> yeah, he did ask my brother. About? That's true. I did. He did ask, ask my brother. I asked his Why brother. would your brother? He's a goddamn it was the same spinal phone surgeon. Call. Yeah, he? because I needed to call him to ask him if if horse horses that race if they were male horses or female horses, <laughs> and his response was, I don't. Fucking no. <laughs> Google. <laughs> do you think you do a spinal surgery on horses and fish? Yeah, but a medical doctor knows everything. No, that is true. Have no. you ever seen? They know. They know a very specific piece of information very, very well. A half an inch wide and a mile deep. Did you That's... not see that movie about the doctor that became a wizard? <laughs> <laughs> what? What? <laughs> Yeah, are you, what is are you it, Doctor the podcast Who? Too? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Doctor Jesus! <laughs> what, what are you talking about? <laughs> the Marvel movie about the Doctor. The oh, Doctor Who? The, yeah, Doctor no, Who. Doctor, Doctor, it's Doctor Strange. You fucking dummy! Oh, oh, yeah, wait, wait, Strange. wait. Speaking of the yeah. new Benedict Marvel, Cumberbatch. Wait. Yeah. Speaking of the new Marvel movie. <laughs> speaking of the new Marvel. Which movie. Which new one? Is there a new one? Captain Marvel. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Brie Larson. Yeah, there's one every on month. A, Brie Larson went on a rant the other uh, night and said that she did not want white men watching her movie. Why? I mean, uh, is she? Is that up to her? her? What is that up to she her? She didn't want. She didn't even want people inter. She didn't want men interviewing her. She only wanted women and P and people P -R -I -E. of color. Why did anyone yeah. let her act in a movie then? She won an Oscar the year before. So, uh, does well, she well, only want? We made that contest up. Only like that contest is made up. Trans people of color, <laughs> biracial, trans people, and women of color watching her movie. That's it. That's it. Brie did Lord, she realize I mean, that's very people. racist? Yeah, and, and, and that's about stupid. one percent of the population too. I'm sure Disney, the execs, that's her? Are thrill, thrilled yeah. to hear that. That's yeah. her. Yeah, she's a white girl. Because you yes. kept saying Brie Larson, she's got a little ethnic in there, doesn't she? No, yeah, she no, she's white. got she nothing. She is a hundred percent. She white. looks like she is cracker from ass motherfucker. Fucking North San Francisco, like Napa Valley. She went to a private school. She knows yeah. everything though. Then I'm sure she yeah. does. That that's what happens when you get really famous. You know everything politically, and and you're an, a feminist. So. I'm not seeing the Ma part, man or woman. I'm not seeing the part where she said she wouldn't give. Yeah, she says interviews. I do not hate white dudes. No, what she said in that last article was that she selected a um, a person of color who had a disability to interview her specifically because she wanted to be more. Inclusive. Did she really say this, or did you hear about it? Parker? I watched the video. It was during her Oscar speech. Then why isn't there like 6,000 articles about her saying, I don't want white people watching my movie? Okay, here it is. Variety. Mm -hmm. Baker, I don't know if this is true. Yeah. I, I'm gonna, if you, everyone will give me a... Uh, oh, here we go. I don't want to hear what a white man has to say about a wrinkle in time. I want to hear about a woman of color, a biracial woman who ha has to say about the f film. I want to hear what teenagers think about the film. If you make a movie that is a love letter to women of color, there is a chance that a woman of color does not have access to review and critique your film. Da, 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 da. 
Do who, not say who, the who doesn't have access to Marvel movies? They're the most watched movies on Earth. What's she talking about? I mean, she's she's. Kind of, uh, I mean, it sounds like she. A Wrinkle in Time is also not a Marvel movie, by the way. I just want to state on. that it's it's produced by Oprah. Yeah, it was she, uh, kind of a fantasy movie. She's saying came that, out uh, like, last year. She doesn't want a bunch of white old critics that are men. Hold on, I watched it last year. Yes, I, and in Look. fact, I think I sent you guys the link. Actually, What's, I'm just saying. I'm not, I'm like, not what seeing, she says right there. She's just. She's saying, I don't want to hear what a white man has to say about a Wrinkle in Time. No, no, hold on. They're looking at the same article. It's on the TV. Yeah, yeah it's right I, there. I feel like... Uh, that's, not, that's the wrong one. It I was feel, a speech. It was I, a video. I feel like that's not a bad point. No, it's not. Like, yeah. It, I mean... Like, she made a movie for a particular audience, or Oprah made a movie for a particular audience. And she's, why do you want to hear yeah. what Siskel and Ebert want, have to say well, about Well, they're both it. dead. No, but saying that... Are they you both dead? But, but yeah. saying they, they, that did we just become good. best friends with Brie Larson? Oh I feel like we did, Baker. Send me to fucking space again. Yeah, Jesus. yeah. Let's talk about Michael Jackson. I mean, I let's like get into that dress. fucking documentary. Oh yeah, dude. I I turned it off after forty minutes. I thought it was dumb. I thought the interviewees like they weren't genuine at all. I thought the mother. Why um, did you say genuine like that? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, genuine. Just, I'm, I'm, a, on, a I'm, black I'm heart heart about this He's one. thinking about pony. That's what he's thinking about. Because I think the mother, <laughs> the one mother uh, from Simi Valley, I think she's full of shit. Like you can look at her and the way that she's be the way that she's in that interview, she's lying out. Her here's ass. the problem. And here's a here's one question now: Why didn't a single one of those fathers fucking get interviewed for this documentary? Because he killed him. one father killed himself. Okay, and where's the uh, other the, one? <laughs> I'm just it's saying a it's a, he it's could a, have it's killed a, it's himself great, because he was tired boy. of the lie. Here, here's the thing. So he the other one one killed himself. Uh, the other one got divorced. I, I watched because it was four hours. It was two it nights. Was, I watched. No, no, no. Shit. Did they four release hours? the second one already? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, so I watched I, one release. I watched, that... bo I watched both of them. It's about four hours long. Okay. It's right around, you didn't give it enough time. Right around the 45 minute mark is where it takes a hard right turn. And these kids detailed abuse for 12 years apiece. Every single city, every single room they were abused in, and they both described the exact same sort of sexual experiences that are so specific that you would think that they were on Drinking Bros, where you're just like, Jesus Christ. How do you know that's they didn't corroborate? That's shit that I've never heard of. I mean... What's that? I said, number one, how do you know that they didn't corroborate? And number two... <laughs> the way you're saying words today is, are you going to have a stroke? Yeah. No. I think <laughs> you need to drink. Like, I'm using, hashtag make Jared drunk again. I know. I'm using words that I don't know, so I just am kind of like winging it. Collaborate? Yeah. Corroborate. <laughs> Corroborate. Yeah. No. Yeah. No. So I just... I, I, didn't, I didn't feel it from those mothers, and I think that there was definitely some weird things that happened, like... I was I was really off put about the whole film crew showing up yeah. like to film that kid like for no reason while he was in Australia that was weird. Well it's all well, weird. It, it, it's all weird. Yeah, and and here's what I took from it. Like the, why why the mom seemed weird is I, I think looking back on it if you as a mom or as a parent let your child sleep with, you know, a, a, your 5 to 7 year old child sleep with a, a 25 to 30 year old man night after night after night the question becomes, you as a parent, why the fuck did you let your children do that, no matter who it was? And I think the parents felt guilty, the moms felt guilty about being completely blinded finish, by the I'll fame of Michael it, Jackson. And then I'll, I, I'll I think those comments. people are all sociopaths. Here's the problem. I, took, I turned it off. No one in this situation has any credibility. Michael Jackson is the prototype for what a sexual predator would be, like because of the way he was raised and the, and the way he lived his life and the like, being stuck in childhood. Uh, fetishizing childish things because you didn't get to experience them at the time. This is all building blocks for mot like an adult sexual predator. It's it's not a judgment. I agree. It, it it is a judgment, I guess, but it's not. This is just facts. Like if you're profiling somebody that might be a child predator, he is number one on the list because of his experiences and the way he behaves uh, in public. So that's one side. The other side is these women aren't guilty. They're fucking sociopaths. Like anybody that could let their child sleep with a fucking grown man yeah. for any amount of time and not that's murder weird. that man <laughs> is a piece of shit human being. And they yeah, that's the way all, I look at it. It's like yeah, it's, MJ's it's dead. Move on, and you're just a fucking terrible yeah, piece of shit. Yeah, you're a fucking weirdo. But that's Capstone, what it is. That's what it done. is. It's people fucking lashing yeah, out. Yeah, but like she even admit admitted, their own she's like, "Oh, you know, he flew us to Hawaii," and then he was like, "Well, can he sleep in my room?" And she's like, "Yeah, whatever, fuck it." 
I think we should have a segment where we talk about epic shit that's happened, like my new puppy or like fun things. Yeah, I, you know? I, I actually do want to talk about that. Matt, you got the cutest dog in the world, no yep. homo, but you did. Do. What, what ha Was it a rescue or who got that? Was it your wife? Yes. Uh, no, it is not a rescue. Um, we were looking at getting one, but, uh, you know, you can talk shit on me for not getting a rescue, but it was a breeder that had this amazing little puppy, and he was so fucking cute, and I saw it. Why do like, you have to get, get a re rescue? Who cares? Well, like, a lot of people say you do, but, you know, we do enough yeah, with dogs. We'll be right. I'm with you, they Matt. Buy, you buy the most to. expensive well, one you can pretty, from a breeder. You know, like, hey, if heated I, if, about it. If I want to buy a fucking breed a dog then i can't well yeah fuck i look at it that 100%. way it's like let's you know, not do turn I, this into a fucking political do issue. i adopt a kid or do i fuck my wife and have a baby fuck my wife have a baby i want my <laughs> own and it's a super rad breed it's an australian shepherd it looks like a fucking hyena and uh yeah brimmy's it is got a, a cool puppy how's brimmy yeah, like yeah. yeah great yeah. Have you i've never yet? seen a yeah. dog look like that theo theo like huxtable no like theo vaughn god damn it <laughs> are you gonna get a mullet wig for this bitch yeah yeah you definitely should that no, I'm gonna great. shave a mullet into him. <laughs> but that's that, good. You, that that is not true. That you is can not true. you can safely give dogs hair growth hormones. The, oh my god, dude! <laughs> no, you can't. What? Yeah, you <laughs> can. <laughs> you should not have kids. He already Ever. had three. No. You shouldn't have a driver's license. You shouldn't have anything. Why? You should be I locked in a padded room somewhere. Exactly. I did see a dog in LA though that had a tattoo on it, which I thought was pretty funny. That's, that's terrible. Really? No, what? I would punch somebody yeah. right in the that fucking face. That dog has balls, man. Yeah, but he didn't opt into it. That's because that kind of animal cruelty. You know? Maybe it was a henna tattoo. They didn't get that, that. That dog got no. Done. It, How do you know that it was dog an LA didn't go Dodgers to a tattoo? Poison concert. And then it was a pit bull, wasn't it? In. It was a fucking pit bull. Yes, it was a pit bull with an LA Dodgers. Shocking. And was the, the LA dude, Dodgers tattoo? The dude was like a cholo. <laughs> Shocker is a pit. <laughs> what am I referencing? Ooh, right dog there. tattoos. Oh no, damn no it. tattoos on dogs. Tattooed dog. Tattoos on dogs. Yeah. You can pull it up, and you're just like, all right, I'm with you, Matt. You, you can't, like, you're nah. the asshole who forced the dog into getting a tattoo. Nah, That's man. That's crazy. I'm man. just saying, what if the dog wanted it? Nope. <laughs> How would you know? The dog was just looking at your tattoo. Well, I mean, said, you, yeah, ah, you show the one. dog a contact sheet, and it picks out what's it, what it wants, you know? Dave, you are the worst at searching for stuff. <laughs> He's on pretty Google. bad at Googling things. I swear Dang, to God, that guy's really tattooed. Weren't, that, tattoo weren't you like dog. a Mac help desk guy? How do you not know how to Google shit? That's all your whole Tattoos job. Tattoos on dogs. That's, I mean, it's pretty. LA Dodgers tattoo on a dog. Just search for that yeah. fucking phrase. I'm just that that's dude it, that, like, I, I don't <laughs> trust people that don't like dogs, but I'll trust a dog that doesn't like a person. Oh, for sure, because dogs yeah. are honest. Dogs yeah, but lie. you can't yeah. trust Ajax. No, he, no. Just, he just, like, that yeah, that's not up. a real dog. That's Ajax just like a, <laughs> that's a demon trapped oh, into a fucking yeah. blue Ajax healer's body. Ajax was fucked Sorry, up when Mon he was a puppy. I love you, but... Ajax was fucked up when he was a puppy. He's better now. He went he to is. training, you know. Much better. He's coming along. You can Life's about growth, you know. When he was a puppy, man, you had to sneak up behind his ass and scoop him up and hold him away from you. I he wonder went, if there's a market ah, for this. What ah. if you opened a tattoo parlor just for dogs? Then someone's <laughs> going to try to bring a horse <laughs> in there. <laughs> be shut down very quickly. Yeah, yeah, someone's going to bring a horse. No, this sounds like a great thing to put coming soon. <laughs> yeah. What if we open like a yeah. whole line Animal of... Animal tattoo parlor. In Beverly <laughs> Hills. Yeah. We, we should open a whole line of businesses just for like go-kart racing for dogs. <laughs> No, this is an idea we had many of episodes ago. What was buying, like leasing space and just putting signage up, but then actually not making it your business. Yeah, lease it for one month. Outrage, yeah, that's where it's just like dog, soon. dog tattoos, and I don't know, yeah. and breastfeeding stations, An animal <laughs> tattoos, and custom breast milk. <laughs> yeah, custom oh, breast what milk. The fuck well, is custom. This? Dave just found something interesting. Apparently, oh, yeah, I've there's, seen that. Oh, there's man. some fad where people are putting glitter all over their dog's testicles. Oh my God! Do they why? not have more time to do other shit? Why? Why? Listen, eventually we're gonna run out of clean air, <laughs> <laughs> and these people need to go away. <laughs> yeah, they're taking up our share oxygen. Resources <laughs> with somebody that is we're putting run glitter. Out of clean air. I'm serious. I don't I'm know, just man. saying. It looks pretty I'm good. I'm gonna be selfish. That's terrible. I don't want to share any of my fuel or power or water with anybody that puts fucking glitter on their dog's balls. But look at those balls, man. Maybe they're trying to breed the dogs, and it's kind of like, uh, you know, spicing up their sex life, no. so they're more attractive no. to uh, the, the female You can't dog. say that you glitter don't put, balls... You don't put glitter in your balls before sex? No. How do you know that dog didn't have huge self-esteem issues about their balls before? I put a lot of hot sauce on my balls. No, that's that is unfortunate <laughs> for your partner. Up. Have you really done that? <laughs> what? Put hot sauce. No, I got a lot of hot sauce in my eyes once, so. Have you ever accidentally used Icy Hot instead of lube? That's no. a fuck oh, show. No, no but, but I have. I, 
I have eaten a bunch of yes. fucking wings and then fucking jerked off afterwards. Yeah. And like, oh, fuck, I did that bro. after cutting habanero peppers. Wait, yeah. Dan, I know the answer because you're not a quitter. Did you finish? Fuck yeah, absolutely. Okay. You always do. <laughs> There's Thank a you. little bit of intrigue with that burn. It gets kind of salty. Uh, um, yeah. Another what? thing, no. it, what? salty? Yeah, listen, hold on. you put had, the semen in your I mouth. I have had a whole no. handful. No, 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 I've had a whole no, handful of icy hot on everything. Really? That was a dare. It was when I was in tacky school. Right. Icy hot's not that bad. If you want to, how long did that take? I mean, the shower didn't help. No, no. no. Hot water does the opposite. No. Yeah. Hot water burn. Really? Baby. No, it's like soda to a fucking, after you ate a pepper. Does Listen. nothing but damage. Uh. Wait, did you just say hot water Wait, 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 wait. Can I just you? had an idea. Don't say shit like I that. I just had an idea. From Rain Man. <laughs> I, I, I want you guys to back me up on this. I want to do some sort of competition with you. And if you lose, you have to get fake tanned like a bodybuilder. Oh, no, that's fucking weird. As <laughs> no. You have to wear it for a yeah, week. You have to no. wear it for Wait. one week. No. Come on, Baker. Would you get a fake tan if you yes, lost? I oh, will. man. I will. Your but body is... I, I, we're talking... No, no, hold on. It's it's not... Spray, it's spray tan. Spray so it's tan. not going to be <laughs> detrimental to your yeah, pigment. His body off. is covered in hair. It won't stick no. or apply. <laughs> no, well, I don't <laughs> have any body stick. hair. <laughs> All right, fine. So Jared's got to get his body hair shaved and then, and then spray tan. tanned. <laughs> You agree yeah. to that? I mean, it, well, is there? It, it, let me ask you this, Jared. Is there a place that you know in San Antonio that does? I'll this? I'll find one. It, oh yeah, I, yeah. That's, that's there's easy. plenty. I'm like, sure. We have... I want to see Baker all orange <laughs> up. <laughs> I, 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 I'd say I what? I, hey, J Jared, for our shirtless show next week, we'll go on Wednesday and get spray tanned up. That okay. way, Thursday go, we can do the real I'll thing. Go do a spray if you tan, just find a place, the fuck you want to do it. I mean, whatever. I want, I want you fine. to go full spray tan. Wait, Ross, will you get a spray tan? Yeah, yeah, I'll do it. So let's do it next Wednesday. I get in at noon. Have you I get in at noon on Wednesday, so we'll do a show. Pick out the spray tan place. That way on Thursday, when we do this, the, the show on camera, you know, a lot of we can all have these bodybuilder spray tans. Hey, for the shirtless episode. Can you keep in mind As that I'm we're going to be in L.A. interviewing celebrities the entire week following that? Do you, you really can, Yeah, but it's, it not, it's, not, it's not for a week later. Yeah, yeah. It's not for a week later. I did it for a movie. It lasts for about a week, so we'll be fine by the time we get to L.A. It Ross, I, off. I do have to say, I feel like you've just done a lot of weird shit on your own accord, but you always say, for a movie. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, it's like, that's that's your defense. Yeah, I banged this There's no way you had. I'm going to paint myself with red spray paint for a movie. No, no, no. I, I there no, was a movie the where show. There was a movie I did with I'll, I'll fucking name drop uh, James Franco where I had to be a, a stunt double in the movie and it required getting two spray tans a week. So I had to go Monday and two Friday. A week. Holy shit! A week Why? and it was so dark you are and thick. Nine feet taller than James Franco and a hundred pounds I know. heavier. <laughs> no, 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 but it, I wasn't playing his his stunt double. It was a movie about stunt doubles. Meaning he's and, little. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. So it was a movie about stunt doubles. Oh. And uh, so but here's, the, here's the fucked up thing about it. If you go too much, I get a rash at the end of, I think about 10 days in, and it got really bad. That was from down. unclean nozzles. I know. Uh, is that what it is? Yeah. I didn't know that. Um, Why so would you even whatever fucking it is. know that? Why would yeah, yeah. How, I? How would you know that? I don't because know. Because I had a spray tan phase. No, you didn't. Lying you didn't? liars lie. <laughs> you <laughs> did not have a spray tan phase. You know, did you really? He's like a That quarter, was the first time I'd been. You're, you're like a quarter Portuguese. Just go outside. Yeah, yeah. I know. That's it. That's all I got to do. So what the fuck are you talking about? Well, yeah, look I, yeah, at his I've brother. His brother's tan. got that golden fucking hue about him. He spends a little more time outside. Yeah. They are definitely Portuguese. You, as a tanned brown man, would be super funny. Oh, my funny. God. It's so funny, Baker. Why wouldn't yeah. you just do this for the wait, content? Wait, wait, hold Baker, on. Baker, next Wednesday. Next wait, Wednesday. Wait, wait, wait. Let's go. I, I get in at noon. Okay. Let's go. Baker, Baker, can you All do, right. like, five spray tans, and then we'll we'll put you on the card for running for Texas as Beto's brother? <laughs> I'm I <so> swear <laughs> to fucking God I'll do it. <laughs> I swear to God. It's, it's fucking Ken O'Rourke. <laughs> I'm super. No, Roberto. Is anyone else confused or that like the hyper left or whomever haven't gone after bodybuilders for black body? Right? That is weird. Like I'm the alt, you mean the alt left? It, it's gonna be yeah, the alt left. It's gonna <laughs> it's gonna happen eventually where they're gonna try to ban I didn't know, bodybuilders I didn't know it was from a spray thing. tanning. Yeah, I, I didn't know it was a thing until uh Brendan Schaub was talking about it actually. No, and all the professional it, body bodybuilders do that. Did anyone But it's real black. It's not just no. like, oh hey, you're tan. It's really yeah, fucking chocolate black. Brendan, speaking of Brendan Schaub in real black, did anybody see the video he posted of that big old three hundred pound dude? Yeah. Running at the combine. Hilarious. Yeah. Massive at the combine. Naked dick so home, flies out yeah. of his shorts. So homeboy is so running the good. forty and his whole dick and balls come out. Yeah. Massive. How does that happen? Because he's got massive. a giant set of dick and balls. That's how it happened. Yeah, Damn. yeah. It was, and you try like to wear short shorts. It, what do you think? I'm I'm four saying and a half. sixteen ounces. 
Four and a half oh, pounds. Oh, no. That's one pound? Yeah. Four, four and a half four pounds. Four and a half pounds, yeah. Of dick. Six, 16 ounces is not one pound, by the way. Because I mean, he can pull his dick up and hit his belly button. At flaccid. <laughs> I mean, how can you measure a woman's vaginal cavity by volume? Eight inches. No, by well, that's volume. not volume. That's linear. Volume is uh, yeah. yeah, it's so in liters. De- no, well, volume, no, no, no. you need circumference. You can measure you it in thing. liters because you can volume pour is... liquid in there and then you empty why, it out. Why wouldn't you use like cubic <laughs> inches? How are you going to take the mem- Yeah, like shaking her hips. Out. Just empty yeah, it Yeah, if you take like a liter soda bottle and put yeah, it in there yeah. and then give them the CPR on the stomach and liter it squirts. Liter soda? You do kind of look like Farva. You know that, right? A liter, a liter if of cola. You grow, can you grow a mustache? Not if I try. Can we get him a fake mustache? Dave. Orders I do like your idea, Jared, because if we started a dating app, but we measured everybody's physical attributes and really weird things, yeah. like my my pussy is a 0.3 liter, so it's like super tight. Yeah, you know? it's a 2.5 liter. You know, Ooh. you got yourself a Honda Prelude over there. <laughs> <laughs> Why Honda Prelude? Because it has a fucking 2.2 liter H22. That was engine. a great car in, in, in the, back in the day. That, mm. that vagina is so small, it'd be like trying to put Baker and Ross into a smart car. It ain't fitting. No, no, know? no. Ross isn't fitting into anything subcompact. <laughs> Well, hey, we'll find out next Thursday. Shirtless <laughs> Showdown, San Antonio. It's We're getting tanned on now. Wednesday. It's shirtless tanned on- showdown. It's shirtless I've been tan training show- like I'm at the NFL Combine. So <laughs> I have it. So. Get ready, motherfucker. Get ready. <laughs> Ross, Ross I, I put up 315 yesterday. Down. I'm amped as shit Wait, can, about this. Can we have the people in the show judge who's got the better buys, the tries, the traps, the lats, you know? Or Absolutely. Is, okay, cool. I'm not I'm, I'm not gonna partaking go full in this. Full liquid diet yeah, I'm not until doing next this. Wednesday. But I'm gonna jump down to eleven percent body fat and just put him to shame. Baker, you should 11%? have eleven percent? Yeah, you're at least sixty percent body fat. Yeah. Right in three, three weeks I've gone from twenty two percent body fat to eleven. Have you're at least sixty percent. Have body ravioli fat. abs, little pop tarts down there. Sixty? Yeah. Yeah. Get out of here. Six zero. Get out of town. And you're get out of town, Dan. Hold on, I'm sorry. Excuse me? He's what? You said your I'm body sixty percent. At least sixty percent. Oh, I thought you were saying you were six. I was like, nah, man. No, oh, no, no. Of course he not. You think he's sixty? No, yeah, I'm twenty four. I bet at least. Mm. I'm probably the leanest here. Uh, I'm still like you. fifteen. Yeah. Twenty four. You're probably closer to ten. No, 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 or not. no. Yeah, no, 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 for sure. Uh, you're JT. I, I, Why did you say that with such confidence? You can't as if you've eyeball seen me somebody's like body naked, fat naked. Fuck. I haven't seen your dick and balls, but I've seen all the rest. Ew, you know how, Why no, do you gotta say there's it really like no body that? Fat on you. Super really, not at all. The only place that you might have a little bit of body fat would be my dong. Your, your dick. You know, yeah, I your got a fat, fat dong. Dick. No, but you don't have any on your arms. You don't have any on your legs. You don't have any on your chest. I would bet you might Matt's have a little bit over your abs, but that's it. That can be really uncomfortable. I would bet. Well, you do have steely blue eyes and a crest white smile. Oh, and that's no. because Thank you, Washington Post. I've done a fuck ton of body fat challenges when we were instructors that would we do it like every six months. If you so can see Dan's face I know right what now. It's worth $5. Dollars. Like. <laughs> that, I think so that was like, just tickling your friend, Jared. That's not a yeah, fat that's body like, fat composition. No, no, no. JT okay. is probably, uh, JT is, is 23-24 at the most. Yeah. Yeah. For du- dudes, I mean, it's, yeah. De- do a DEXA scan. Yeah. Yeah. Get in there, blow all the air out of your, out of your lungs. Because the more air in your lungs, the more fat it looks like when you're underwater all the way. Say water again. Oh, uh, <laughs> Water. Thank you. Whatever. Water. I say water. Yeah, you do your fucking hillbilly. You're from Irma, motherfucker. I'm not. You're from Irma. You know, I got to club salmon once. Oh, my God. You got to club yeah. a salmon? <laughs> no, a bunch of salmon. <laughs> Dave, do you just want to cut the show off? No, 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 no. no, no, no. no. <laughs> it was in Washington State at one of the fucking Indian fisheries. You you catch them, and then you club them, and then you milk them. You, sam- you sperm them. Uh, you know, you were almost right in the sense of like how, white, I, white bass at a specific lake, so you have to club them, and it's against the law if you don't club and cut their heads off because if you take that population and introduce them to another lake, they're hyper-invasive and will kill all the trip. almost trail. right? Ah, I'm just saying. No, 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 no. Like, legitimately, this was a part of our high school. He like, milked we salmon. Had to go, we had to go to Like, you milk the row out? Well, that's the female. You'd get the, f- you, the you'd take the eggs and then you'd grab the male and you'd squeeze and it'd be up. Yeah. Go so you jacked off a fucking Jesus. salmon. Yeah. But after you hit him you, in the head, you brained and then <laughs> jacked off a bunch of salmon. I mean, if you put it that way, yeah. That, <laughs> that's a crime. That has part of my high crime, school Christ. curriculum. If you did that to a person, <laughs> <laughs> if you did that to a person, it'd be really illegal. <laughs> What's so funny? Did you hear the way he said? You can't say words. <laughs> what do you mean? You said curriculum or some so shit. So it wasn't it's even curriculum. Close, I'm telling you, make Jared oh drunk God. again, dude. We need him. Like his speech comes out. It's yeah. Great. What yeah. happens? You're, I just your don't understand what happens. Your fucking speech patterns are fucked right now. Did bro. my body just get dependent on liquor? Yes. Yes. Oh. yes. Is that what happens? Yeah. You are. The and, na- and now and now you're no fun. Um, I, I do want to ask no you. Fun. We had a blast uh, today with the Colin. Yeah, we did. 
That is what would you do? There, the one quick thing: liquor is one of the very few addictive uh, substances that can kill you uh, after for withdrawals. Oh yeah. yeah. And if you it are is, going yeah. through something hyper challenging in your life, guys, uh, check out Warriors Heart because they're a substance abuse uh, program and they're amazing. And uh, choose life and 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 get off drugs. Yeah, yeah kids. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, get off the drugs. Uh, I Jared, wanted I want something to ask you, positive in this fucking. I'm actually. Nah, it's fine. I'm pro. Jared, drug. I, I wanted. To, I wanted to ask you something. Uh, the the, 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 the yeah. director of Super Trooper today. Yeah. Um, they had this series called Unmade. They're kind of doing these like five minute shorts on movies that were never made. I swear to God, this was a, an idea that you had to have pitched. Uh, Jay Chandra Sekar, who's the director and writer of uh, Super Troopers, he also stars in it. Um, Miramax told him and Broken Lizard comedy troupe, that they could write any movie they wanted. So they created an astronaut who was a cat, and they called it Mickleberry, Cat in Space. Um, Miramax ended up passing on the movie. If you could create any fucking movie right now, That's a good question. what would it be? Ambulanced. Yeah. Well, what? That's, that's more of a series. Yeah, that's a series. Um, if I could create any movie, I would go trans friend. Trans friend like, that sure, would be, yeah. hands down, Like I think it would, it would melt the left... So many people would be upset about it, but we would laugh hysterically. All of our, all the people that like us would laugh hysterically. They'd be like, "You made Trans Frank. This is amazing." Like it would be Trans Frank because it'd be funny as fuck, and I'd have Donnie O'Malley play Trans Frank. What yeah, it'd in be the funny. fuck is Trans Frank? It's it's it's. it's better not, it better not be yeah. what I think it is. It is. It is exactly. It is. What you think it's it is, it's yeah. Frank, but she has to go. She has to turn herself. She has to inject herself with testosterone. Turn herself well, into a, a man. Well, a doctor does. Yeah, yeah. and yeah. then like it's a very violent yeah. transition to that's very scary and like lightning almost kind of like Frankenstein yeah. and then she, she's got to fight these zombie Nazis she goes on fucking but rampage isn't she it's basically no, Captain that's America that's not you're confusing that's Helen, Keller. Helen Keller yeah there's already been a Different movie people. about Helen Keller killing night wolves do we ever want yeah. to talk Helen- about that Captain America how they pretty much just fucking loaded him up with steroids and he went from like a little skinny bitch to Captain America yeah Here's the bigger. Yeah. Here's a bigger issue with Anabolic Captain America. Anabolic steroids. Here's a here's a bigger issue with Captain America. Has he ever fucked a woman before? I don't know. Not with those nipples. Follow the fucking Marvel Cinematic Universe and find any woman that he's dated. None. Maybe he's, so he's, a he's, he's too he's too all America good old boy fifties to be out there banging whores, right? Or jacking so, off. Yeah. The only yeah. woman he was really interested in was Peggy Carter, and he died or he like got lost in the snow or whatever the fuck, and then they on she was old by the time. They saw each Maybe other again. he's like a Ken doll. No yeah, dick. He might be smooth down there. Yeah, he could be smooth so down Captain there. So Captain America's a eunuch. Yeah. We should start calling people smooth down there. I don't know if he's a eunuch <laughs> or not, but he's definitely never busted inside of you a You look like before. one of them smooth down there. He's boy. like Grey Worm saying, from Lord of the Rings. I think yeah. Cat Court should be a TV oh, show. Oh, Cat Court should definitely be yeah. a TV show. Yeah. It's Cat it's, Court. It's, Tell them about Cat Court. It's just, it's like People's Court, but the judge is just uh, like a human body with a giant cat's head. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, instead, I like that. And instead of the song that goes dun dun dun, it's, it's meow, 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 meow. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be part of Ambulance. Yeah, so this is going to be in Ambulance. Justin's it's, character, who's the driver of our ambulance, he is all, obsessed with trying to get on yeah, cat court. He, it's like a local. <laughs> Like cable access show, as and he hard keeps- as you're gonna try to sell me on this, Dan, it is not gonna happen. <laughs> you gotta, just- you guys can go do it, and I will, I will watch it on Hulu Plus or something. I would- I've got something positive. <laughs> no, you don't. Go ahead. Is it eight? April. Today's March the fifth. Or I'm sorry, I didn't mean to date the show. Uh, sorry, Dave. Uh, April the fourteenth. Game of Thrones is back. Yeah, That's not it is. Hey, hey. Fuck b- yeah. By the way, s- speaking of that, did you see that they have the the longest fight scene in film or television history is going to be in this? You're not saying what how episode? Much, how much do they doesn't spend on? Actually, Ross? sound like I'm not enticed by that. Don't you say a the, goddamn negative thing about that show? Why? Yeah. Do, do you want to? Uh, you want to know how much they spent, nice Matt? I think that it's pro. Fuck your brother. I think Jon Snow is the worst military commander in the history of the fucking cosmos. Make believe world, real world, all that shit. He's a horrible military leader. I could do worse. Nope, name one. You cannot. He is fucking Dave, horrible. Dave said he could do he worse. He just gave the fucking enemy a WMD. And the fucking mountain is immature ass throwing goddamn Have you ever seen the, War Dogs undead. or that other movie? No. That's about- Wait, your, your mic yeah, is I saw War Dogs. Baker. Uh, sorry. So, Ross, how much did you say that scene cost? Uh, well, I, I know this series, they because they, they, this is the last season, they've spent over $200 million on it. Is so that a lot? Ma- 
Oh my god, that that's like that's a lot for a TV no, well, show. That's I mean, twenty million an that's, episode, man. Yeah, Shit. but that's yeah. the thing is like you're you're talking about what is it going to be? Ten episodes? No, yeah. seven, that's and s- each one's an hour and a half. Seven one and a yeah. half hour movies, and they spent two hundred million. Like, what's a fucking Marvel movie? Like three hundred and fifty million, something like that. Yeah. For ninety, yeah, Mar- Mar- Marvel, Marvel averages about one fifty for for a Marvel. So yeah, yeah one seventy five. You're spending two hundred on on on. 15 hours of, of content. Hey, Ross, you're a writer. What can we do to get yeah. George R. R. Martin to finish that last fucking book? You won't. Oh, I, I think fuck. he's too old, and, and, and it's really hard, man. Fucking so uh, my fucker. babysitter was over reading one of those books. Each one of those is like 1,100 pages. Yeah, well, four uh, and uh, three and four were 740 and 860, and the other ones were like 1,300. Did the guy that wrote this not finish it? He's st- he's still he's not done with the final book. He was supposed to, it was it's he's four years behind schedule. Oh wow! So he's pretty much yeah, the best of books. It just, they just it's not going to come out. No, it's not that he wasn't ready. It's just he's just oh. a piece of shit. Doesn't write. He goes and writes other books. Mm. He's, he's been old working on the one book. Yeah, and fat, real fucking fat. Yeah, mm. he's real. Fat, yeah, and huh? I, I I don't think he does, man. I, I think you get to a certain age that he's at, and writing like that that detailed. Because I mean, you look at eleven hundred page book, and, and Matt, you can attest to this, having gone through it. You've got to go back and edit that. So if there's a fucking character arc in that, that's, you know, on page 28, some character doesn't want to put, uh, let's say, fucking lapels on or whatever it is. You've got to make sure if they're in a scene, you know, 200 pages later, then they're not, they're not wearing lapels yeah. or whatever it is. Yeah, continuity edit, on 1,300 pages. Is and be Matt, he, I mean, uh, Ross, he's, oh, known, God. he's known for massive rewrites. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Massive and rewrites. It, Send it would just take years and years and years and years yeah, and years yeah, to yeah. finish one of those. <laughs> yeah. I got Cat Baker. Court. I got Baker. Do you know what I started? You know what I recently started? Because I'd never seen it. I started Harry Potter. Fuck that. Why? I've never really? seen it. How do you guys What's wrong with Harry Potter? time to watch all these fucking shows? What are you shows? talking about? Yeah. What time? I don't I don't watch Harry Potter. Oh, yeah, J.K. Rowling. Why, not why Harry ass. Potter? I just have never. Why Harry seen, Potter? I've never seen it. And there's You're seven of them. He's, he's an Anglophile. Come on. What does that mean? Oh my God, dude! <laughs> Please go. Go. Is learn. that like an angle grinder? <sighs> <sighs> learn some words, guy. Whatever. I, Matt <laughs> has this like glassed over facial expression. Learn <laughs> some words has to be the the quote of the year. Yeah. Learn some words, dude. Jeez. Okay, words. well I don't I don't know what it means. What is Anglophile? It means someone who's really into British culture. Oh, I would have never uh, got that. Yeah, me. And I, I'm not a big fan of. It's fish like and it's chips. like a francophile, dude. It's somebody who's super sure. into Anne Frank. Shitty yeah. weather. Yeah, not, not, a, not a fan of fish and chips, man. No, the no. bar. I'm food, surprised you're not. Chips. You love fish. Oh, cod. No, I love cod, cod, any any place that has the cod Brits, and the chips. The Brits, the Brits were big cod people. Like the, I can attribute to Jared. Yeah. I've eaten at more shitty fat or like you know seafood places with you than any other friend in the world ever. Mm-hmm. All right, all right, I'll take that. You like took me to a fucking bobs? seafood place the other yeah. day. Did you eat it by your bobs? No, I no. did. <laughs> I, I did. care yeah. about my I health. I had there. breakfast at Bayou Bobs. <laughs> was the, what did you order at breakfast? I, at a place I, I ordered bobs? the gumbo and I ordered the crawfish and the shrimp. Is there a breakfast gumbo, or you I, just got like? No, no, no. I got, I got. The regular gumbo, I got the crawfish etouffee, and then I got some shrimps. The thing I love mm. about you, Jared, is you play like Russian food roulette every time mm. you go out. Not only do you take, oh, I'm just gonna have the shrimp for breakfast. You're like, I need the crawfish, I need the oysters in Denver. I need yeah. downtown Denver. Yeah, yeah, right just near give the me, ocean. Give me the landlocked state and send me all yeah, the fish. Yeah, but you know, you know, Bayou Bob's is actually in a pretty like nice location. Like it's the fuck down, does that have to do with anything? It's downtown Denver, right next to the Hard Rock. You've been there. I mean, there's really nice. There, it's like, right next to the Hard Rock. Dog shit. Like you know, that's a nice area, and that's where Bayou Bob's is. I would never I classify a place being a nice area if it's next to the Hard Rock. I but would the actually, Hard Rock in Denver is opposite. Nice. What are you talking about? Have you ever been to Vegas? Hmm. Hmm. Oh we come on! Nobody there. goes to Hard Rock in Vegas anymore. It's it's almost it's that's almost where they dead. Have the porno you ever been convention. on that big Ferris wheel? Nope. Uh, nowhere near, nowhere near Hard Rock, by the way. Um, how's the food in San Antonio? Weird, uh, weird. There's weird. some good places. Maverick's good if you've been there. Have you been to bored Maverick? with eating? Um, Cured is good. Uh, <laughs> let's see. You're I fucking can't with this shit, um, I'm man. bored with eating. <laughs> Bega on the Banks I, is good. They have, have, they have one. Good. They have one good sushi restaurant here that I found. It's What's uh, it? it's uh, in the Alon. 
So north next to uh, Six Flags, it's yeah. super oh, fucking near where Richard good. Lives. Super very fucking good. good. Excellent. Yeah, they have every other food. sushi place I've had here was not bad. It was absolutely terrible. I ordered a, a hand roll, a spicy tuna hand roll. They put mayonnaise in my oh, hand roll. Oh my god! No joke. I would die. And oh. the, and the, and the oh, fish man. was like room temperature. I took one bite, and oh. it's hard to get me Does to it gag. Smell? Does it and smell? Does it smell too? Oh my god! Yeah, I gagged, and I was like, "Oh, hey, we had some meetings come up. Can we get that to go?" And then we fucking the homeless guy didn't even want it. What outside. day was? What do you remember? What day? It was the week it was tuesday at 3 p.m bad day no tuesday's the, the, the day tuesday that's when fish delivery happens dinner. tuesday yeah. for dinner tuesday oh. morning is the worst time tuesday. on earth to eat fish tuesday really tuesday. yeah tuesday. why is that fish because truck fish comes delivered on tuesday afternoon like at yeah. one, one o'clock usually. so you you could just nationally that's the date <laughs> that's, well, that's what, what that's, that's the fish trucks were. yeah for real yeah, yeah that's a real thing. Right. yeah so, but how can every place have a Tuesday delivery. That doesn't make sense if you're part of the postal service. Mm. And they also... <laughs> no one's mailing fucking fish to each other, Jared. God damn. <laughs> well, frozen fish. Damn. I'm they just saying. You that's can't, why, everybody can't have a Tuesday and that's fish why delivery. Most, most historically, sushi restaurants are closed on Mondays. Yeah. I okay. didn't know that. I, yeah. I, fuck. That's wild, actually. I didn't know that at all. Uh, let's get to the drinking bro of the week. Oh, please. I, after, after hearing that story, I'm, I'm going to throw up in my mouth. Uh, this one was submitted by Sean Boland. He says, uh, I want to nominate Quinn Westwood of the Nolanville, Texas Fire Department. I don't know if he's a drinking bro or not, but this man went out of his way to help uh, my girlfriend and I right after getting T-boned and sent into a ditch. We were on our way to pick up my girlfriend's kids from their dads while headed down a two-lane road. An SUV from an oncoming lane had pulled out to make an illegal U-turn and T-boned our vehicle, sending us into the ditch. Luckily, Quinn was a few vehicles back and witnessed everything. He pulled over, offered assistance, and stayed with us the whole time. He even gave us a ride back to the place. And, uh, man, what a fucking great do. That's, anyway, cool. God, that's awesome. Good job, Quinn. Yeah. One of my he, biggest so, fears. He was the guy that day, though, that said, there's something bad, and it's up to me to fix it. He didn't yeah. fucking pull out the camera and film it. Good no, job, no, bro. No, no, no. I'm glad the kids weren't in the car. I'm Dang. afraid of getting hit by a train. Really? Yeah. Like of dudes or like an actual, like... No, like a... Like, a, <laughs> like, a fucking, <laughs> like one of those big metal trains that roll around. On tracks? Tra yeah. You mean a train? Yeah. Yeah. Like oh, an Oh, you mean an actual train. Yeah. <laughs> I, I knew a guy that, that was the lead singer of a really cool band out of Florida called New School Dropouts, and he got hit by a train and died. What is the best place to be on a train when it becomes derailed? I'd be uh, curious. Just like a plane, front. being in the back has the no, highest No, you don't want to be in the front. Probably the yeah, back, you want to be in the back. jump off of it, right? I mean, that, no, but, that's no. not sound trains, logic. What are you talking about? Trains don't really go that fast. Fault. If it's going 60 miles per hour, you, you still jump out jump of the back off. of it. Not yeah. off the side, but if you jump out of the back, you're going to be fine. Yeah. I mean, like but you're real. sitting in a seat. Like I'm not acknowledging yeah, but, this. Like, yeah, run but, the fuck out of there. You mean if you stay, you have to stay in That's the, the same crash. logic of just like when the elevator's going to crash, just jump up at the oh, last no, second you'll, you'll be okay. It sure, could yeah. be. I mean, if I lift you up and you lift me up, we're both floating. Here's I said. I think I said this the other day. <laughs> for real. Fuck, man. If you jump. true? Yeah, if you. No, for real. If you jump. And then before you hit the ground, jump again. You could just keep jumping, and you'll never hit the ground. That's actually true. There's yeah. a scientific theory behind that. Yeah, called it's the theory called of zero point theory energy. Of fucking not happening. <laughs> zero <laughs> point energy. Look it up. Alex Jones knows all about it. Oh, he does. Zero yeah. point energy. I'm still enjoying that. It's podcast. part of our galactic fucking so deal. So good. I'm just saying. Maybe Alex Jones should go on cat court. Oh, he should definitely be on Cat Court. Cat Court. Hey, the, the guy who tried to rob that gun store in Murfreesboro, Tennessee, Does I posted anybody know it on Instagram story? today. Like, oh, I haven't I just seen read the story. story. I, 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 so I, I watched it. I watched the full, uh, the, I watched the full news clip today. Um, the, the, the gun store got robbed, and the, the guy who was, wearing, who was working in well, the, the store was wearing a rifle right? coffee hat. Yeah, well, it's a gun store and pawn shop. Yeah. Uh, he, he, they've got full video of it because there's video inside the store. Yeah. Whoa! He gets whoa. robbed. The guy her? jumps the Instagram fucking problem. counter, chases the guy down out in the street, and, Caleb, and draws on Caleb him. Something. Yeah, and uh, yeah. he waits for, for police to get there, and the, you know the robbers got arrested. Why would you rob a fucking gun store though? Where, is, well, that's crazy especially when the dude has a black rifle AR hat on. I mean, the guy's obviously got his shit together. I mean, yeah, <laughs> which are available on BlackRifleCoffee.com, Ross. If you're curious, they are Drinking Bros Twenty. Is that promo code for twenty oh, percent off? Thanks. Uh, what was the guy's last name? Uh, it's on Instagram. Dave's looking yeah, right, now, right now. Oh, great. If, if Dave's looking, we'll get that sometime 2021. Um, <laughs> so, you, you, 
You can just open up your phone, look at Drinking Bros podcast, probably Instagram. So some fucking asshole decides he's gonna roll up on a gun shop or a pawn, uh, or a pawn shop or a gun store. What weapon and was he yielding? Rob the Ross? place. Do you know? Was it a fucking crackhead? I, I don't I don't know, but but the the store was robbed I guess the week before, and it was the same uh, person or people. They did find out. Caleb so. Gregory. Uh, oh wow! There you go. Name. That and he's Caleb he's, Gregory. Yeah, apparently he's been like uh, Dave is friends with him now. I guess on Instagram he's been wearing black rifle shit for some time now, so he must be a fan. I'm Hopefully. gonna see if he follows. That's awesome, you. man. Yeah, that's great. Let's see if he follows. Um, me. Go to Gregory Gunworks. It's is that his name? No, he's got a dude. company where he, he follows does me on Instagram. Yeah, look at reach that. Out, re- reach out <laughs> yeah. to him. Yeah. Hey, man, I'm gonna send him a message and say badass stuff, brother. Yeah. He Don't does. we have a roaster near Murfreesboro? Uh, uh, yes. Not Murfreesboro. I don't know exactly where it is. It, yeah, yeah. It's right, it's right outside of Nashville. Yes, you do, Jared. It's your own company. How do I, you know, I mean, know we don't, I don't know where Murfreesboro is. Is what yeah, I mean. Yeah, I don't Middle know. Middle Tennessee Mur- State. Hey, look at that one right in the middle. It's very, it's very close to Nashville. Right under the 100 bullets thing. Click that one. That's pretty rad, right there. Look at that. That is kind of cool. Hmm. It's not bad work. I slipped into his DMs. Maybe I'll have him uh, Cerakote a gun for me and give him some business oh, yeah. for being a stand-up American. Son. Save the world, send me a gun. <laughs> no, <laughs> I mean, I'm you know, <laughs> sending him a gun to Cerakote. Send me a gun. Oh, I, I like them pink one. pants yeah. he's wearing. Yeah, that's pretty I need rad. some of those. Gregory, you're famous. Wait buddy. a minute. Oh, I have worn that outfit. We've, You've got that bunny costume. We've yeah, posted sure. that before. Who has? That photo right there on one of the gun accounts. Why would we do that? Because it's funny. It's a cool photo. It's true. I like this. Oh, he's pressure. even got the slippies. Look at that. Yeah. Ooh. He's the throwing. fuck's the slippies? slippies? He's got the fucking bunny rabbit slippies down there. Uh, there's yeah. no such <laughs> thing as a fucking slippy, you slippy. Slut. Yeah, dude, you don't Look know this. this. Here's, a, here's a private story about Dan. Nobody loves a pair of slippers more than Anthony Holloway. <laughs> hey, you got the slippies. I got the flippy yeah. floppies, dude. Yeah. So it's oh, all my good. God. I <laughs> feel. I feel triggered. The most the most comfortable I've ever seen Dan in his whole life was in a bathrobe and slippies yeah, outside Penn, of uh, Penn, Penn State. Stop using the word slippy. <laughs> you, yeah, do you Penn really State. use that word? Slippies, yeah. Where funny. the fuck did that come from? That's not a southern word. It's funny. We should tell Jared's girlfriend Are you to from use that. Pennsylvania or something? No, I went I don't to yeah, want I got my master's went to Penn, Penn State. State. Yeah, but you never lived there, so why would you pick up that weirdo ass word? We don't say that in the South. No one at Penn State says it either, fuckface. That has nothing to do with anything. <laughs> who says who says it? <laughs> no one. I just fucking think it's funny. I hate it. it. It makes and there's me nothing wrong with it. It also makes Jared mad, which is making no, me uncomfortable too. It's slippy. There's nothing there. wrong with a little slippy no, here and there. I don't slippy. like it. It makes me clingers. You don't like to wake up on a cold morning, put on your slippies, and start a fire. No, no. <laughs> oh, God. It's moist outside. <laughs> this is fucking oh. slippies on. It makes me feel like a doctor's hit me with one of those hitty things on your knee. You domesticated <laughs> motherfucker. <laughs> What? Listen to Dan over here. Oh man, dude. what for Ross Patterson? <laughs> yeah, seriously. Yeah, Get exactly for here. Ross Patterson. Mad fest. Baker, leave it. Uh, D'Anthony slippies. Oh and, uh, yeah. God. Oh, and Jared Taylor, sober Steve. Um, I'm Ross Patterson. <laughs> sober. Steve. We are out of here. We're C1 shirtless Thursday next week, everybody. Peace.